We will talk about nausea after workout. It's a very common condition. And not only nausea is problem, but also muscle burning, headache, dizziness, and why it happens. The main problem is blood pH level. It means a blood acid base balance. And normally, blood is slightly alkaline. Normal um, blood pH is around 7.4 and when person workouts especially if person workout workouts intensively ph drops ph drops and when it drop less than 7.35 it becomes more acidic and when blood becomes more acidic lactic acidosis develops and this lactic acidosis causes these problems. Of course, if blood pH becomes very acidic, eventually person will die, but such, uh, such cases um, is not common after workout, of course. It's extremely rare. It can, it can be because of other problems, but not because of workout. Now let's say, where is problem? why blood pH is dropping during work workout problem is that um, we need oxygen for breathing which is called cellular respiration and we have two types of cellular respiration most common type and ordinal is we have glucose from glucose we get uh, we get energy and we exhale co2 or carbon dioxide and this process is aerobic because this process requires oxygen that's why it is called aerobic respiration this aerobic respiration is default for our body so it means it's standard for our body and when we living we uh, we undergo aerobic respiration always but if you if you working out intensively it means if you're lifting weights or if you're sprinting, your body requires more and more energy. And this aerobic respiration is very effective and efficient, but it's slow. So you need more fast energy. And fast energy is direct breakdown of glucose, which is called glycolysis. And this glycolysis produces pyruvate and from pyruvate lactic acid and from lactic acid uh, we have energy but this lactic acid when they formed lots of lactic acid not all of them are consumed and they build up muscles and then they release into bloodstream and we have lactic acidosis so lactic acidosis happens because we need more energy and we need anaerobic respiration because this aerobic respiration is slow process and we need uh, we need energy quickly that's why we have glucose breakdown directly inefficiently uh, to pyruvate from pyruvate we get lactic acid and this lactic acid build up in the muscles and then um, uh, into blood and what this lactic acid is doing this lactic acid uh, creates acidic environment in the blood and it drops uh, blood ph uh, also it directly affects brain stem especially medulla obligata oblingata which is responsible on um, nausea and vomiting it's it stimulates these receptors directly and person has sense of nausea. Another thing is um, hydrogen ions uh, are accumulated into intestines or into blood, of course, and then it irritates intestines and it also causes uh, nausea, sense of nausea. Also, this lactic acid stimulate vagus nerve and vagus nerve stimulates intestines and we have sense of nausea. And another cause of nausea is that blood distribution, redistribution of blood, which means when you work out intensively, your blood redistributes from intestines to muscles. So your 
uh, your intestines get less uh, less uh, less energy less blood but your muscles get more blood and this redistribution also causes nausea and sometimes a sense of dizziness and its problem also so that's why so many mechanisms uh, has this lactic acidosis how it can affect on um, nausea and now let's say uh, how serious this is uh, serious this condition is it's serious if uh, if it will continue but usually when person feels uh, this nausea or sense of vomiting or dizziness he stops uh, exercising and it's a reversible process of course and person feels better in around um, after 10 minutes after 10 minutes uh, important improvement but nausea can be uh, can be uh, last more several for several hours it's possible and then it it will decline over time but it can last for several hours but after around 10 minutes it will be improved importantly usually this lactic acidosis is harmless condition at this case it's harmless condition after exercise um, and how we can prevent it gradual exercise is best way uh, to warm up before uh, you increase intensity of your exercise and then cool down you know, when you stop uh, don't stop uh, uh, abruptly your exercise adequate hydration is important drink plenty of water after and before exercise but of course you should not drink very very cold uh, water uh, after exercise uh, exactly it's better for your lungs but adequate uh, hydration is important process also uh, lactic acidosis is not caused only by exercise it caused for example because of metformin it's a uh, big one night medication of diabetes and it can cause also lactic acidosis and it's more rare but more serious condition uh, because uh, a rare, a rare side effect of this drug is um, lactic acidosis and lactic acidosis also is resulting in different conditions including uh, liver insufficiency liver failure uh, and other organ failures and if this lactic acidosis uh, continues it will reach point where we have more serious condition uh, which is called uh, metabolic acidosis and metabolic acidosis is already serious if it uh, if it is not uh, re reversed and if it continues then we have organ damage and eventually we have death so generally lactic acidosis is a serious condition but during workout during exercise uh, it's most mostly it's harmless and mostly we have no serious uh, adverse effects and even more after some period of time this condition will improve because your body will start manage and learn how to manage uh, lactic acidosis better that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now